Hello, I'm Chris, a technical trainer here at Stratasys. In this video, I'll discuss the body thickness model setting. Let's get started. The easiest way to observe how the body thickness feature works is to demonstrate it on a simple cube printed with ASA using the sparse infill. The slice height for this example will be 10 thousandths. I'll use the default wall thickness of 60 thousandths to slice the part. Once it is sliced and the tool paths generated, I'll review the slice preview. With the default wall thickness of 60 thousandths of an inch, the vertical walls of my model are formed by three contours. This is my minimum body thickness. The width of each contour is twice the slice height. For a slice height of 10 thousandths, the contour width is 20 thousandths. Each of the three contours of the outer wall print at 20 thousandths and will produce a total wall thickness of 60 thousandths. When we view the top layers of my part, we will find that the sparse infill has changed to a solid infill for the top six layers of the part. Each of the slice layers is 10 thousandths for a top and bottom shell thickness of 60 thousandths. This matches the selected minimum body thickness. This means the body thickness setting uses your slice height and your contour width to create your model's actual body thickness, which will be larger than the values you specify, but not by very much. As I increase the body thickness, the number of contours along the walls of my part will increase, as will the number of top and bottom solid layers. Here I change my body thickness to a tenth of an inch. When I preview my toolpath, I now have five contours on the outer shell. And I look at the top layers of my cube in the slice preview, I now have ten solid layers on the top and bottom. GrabCAD print works this way for all sparse infills. Solid infills reduce the body thickness to its minimum, since the body is solid, but the body thickness still can be changed to bound the part with more contours. In this video, you saw how to use the body thickness model setting. Thanks for watching. To learn more, watch the other GrabCAD print training videos from Stratasys Academy.